friends, this is Nina. Welcome to your channel SAP Saran. Today we have a another potential interview question for you. That is types of important date in SAP. So as you know, there are a lot of important dates, but we have taken some dates which may be asked in your interview. So going forward, it is posting date, document date, entry date, translation date, and your baseline dates. So what is document date? Document date is the date which the user has and is entering as a manually. So it cannot be from system picked. And same as the posting date. Posting date also will be entered by the user manually. So the difference between both of it is document date is the date which the physical supporting document carries. So physical document supporting document may be your vendor's invoice or your customer's billing documents. So then what is posting date? The posting date is the date on which date you want to post this transaction. You here mean the user or the business want to post the transactions. So basically it controls in the period. So if the user want to post the transaction in a specific period, then it can, can put the date which is in that period. So um, the next is your entry date, the date on which date you are posting the transaction, the actual date. Know about more about this, we can go to example. Suppose the vendor has raised the invoice on 21st March and the bill you have received in your organization is 1st April 2018. But as in Indian financial transactions are closed, accounting transactions are closed on 31st March 2018, so the user has to enter it on 31st March so that the whatever the expense and revenue will incur during that period will affect that period only. So in this case, the document date will be my 21st March 2018, my posting date will be 31st March 2018 and my entry date will be on and after 1st April 2018. So hope this example will give you the difference between your posting date, entry date and the document date. So next going onwards is the translation date. So translation date is again picked from the system but you can manually change that also. So what is the role of translation date? Translation date translate the currencies from current currency to the local currencies. Suppose you have the company code currency INR and your document currency which you are posting now is in the USD. So there will be a translation of currency to convert that from the document currency to your company code currency. So this date will pick data from the system and translate the rate as specified in the system. So that's your translation date. So going into more detail, you can see here. So all the dates basically it comes from all the dates you can see here is uh, saved in your header data. So you can see here the document date. As I told you, it will be manually entered and the posting date will be manually entered. This transaction, they may want it to be in the 30th July 2018 only. And the entry date is system picked for the date when the user has entered it actually. And the translation date, they have changed it maybe manually. It's on 28th July 2016. They want to have a translation on this date. So last date, which is baseline date. Detail about the baseline date we have already discussed during our payment term. I'm giving you the link below so that you can access that and get more idea about baseline date. But time being, I'll tell you a definition of the baseline date. That is your clock starter date. So the day from date, from this date, the vendor vendor payment term or the customer payment term starts. That's all about the different dates. So hope this video given an insight to you about all the important dates. So stay tuned with this channel and we'll give you such questions in future also. So requesting you to subscribe and like our channel to get such videos in future also. Thank you so much. As I always say, enjoy learning.